Well, here's something even hardcore cult movie fans don't see every day. A movie that deals with infantilism. I mean, sure, there's been quite a few movies with weird babies in them, but you don't often see ones that focus on an adult man acting like a baby. And according to the DVD cover, it's one of the most bizarre films to come out of Hollywood in the 70s. Then again, I did just do a movie where Ernest Borgnine turns into a goat man and then melts into soft serve. So who knows, maybe people were on so many drugs back then, stuff like this just seemed normal. The Baby is a 1973, um, well, it's usually classified as a horror movie, but that's not entirely accurate since this is a movie that's not easy to put into one category. I mean, a lot of the marketing definitely tried to sell it as a horror movie, but whatever you want to call it, it's got a premise that almost guaranteed it would get a cult following. A fully grown adult man living and behaving like a baby. With a whacked out exploitation movie plot like that, this movie's probably gonna be crazy. Huh. Okay, apparently the baby's asleep and the movie's trying not to wake it up. So our main character is social worker Anne Gentry, who's currently looking at some baby pictures, which quickly turn into... Uh, do these technically count as fetish pics? I sure hope nobody finds out I have these. Anne's latest assignment is the Wadsworth family, and judging by their house, it's either haunted or about to be the setting of a Lucio Fulci movie. Mrs. Wadsworth is played by veteran actress Ruth Roman. Let me see, how do I describe her? Can I help you? It was nice of you to call first. Most of your work is just pop in. I know they help out the best they can, but it doesn't come to do much. She makes Kathleen Turner sound like Betty Boop. In addition to Mrs. Wadsworth, her two adult daughters also live there. There's Alba, who also dresses like she's a little kid, and Jermaine, who seems to be engaged in a battle for big hair supremacy with her mom. Anne's mainly there to see the baby, though. Uh, speaking of which, just what's his name? I notice you call him Baby, and the case history doesn't show any other name. What is his real name? Just Baby. Really? The man baby's name is just Baby? That's like if you name some kids in a movie just boy and girl. It, uh, you know what? Actually, uh, never mind. Time for Anne to ask Mrs. Wadsworth some questions. I'd imagine she probably has a few. Now, uh, what about the family income? Just what the county gives us for Baby. Sometimes I don't know how we make ends meet but we always seem to manage. We also have a weekly cam show where we sexually abuse Baby. It actually does pretty well. You'd be surprised how many people out there are into that sort of thing. Anyway, time to meet the little tyke. He's only 360 months old. Okay, Baby, here comes the airplane. Now learn to fly it yourself, will you? You're a fucking adult. Well, at least the family makes sure he's moisturized. His legs seem perfectly normal. I'm surprised he doesn't walk. That's the only thing you're surprised by? Hey, so I checked out the Wadsworth family and they're treating their adult son like a baby and I'm not sure it's consensual. Uh, should we maybe call the cops? Despite Anne's concern for baby, nobody seems to think anything of it despite another social worker assigned to the family suddenly going missing. None of those other workers spent enough time on the case to accomplish anything. That's not true. One did. Oh, I yes, have it right one here. did. And just when she was beginning to make progress, she disappeared. People drop out of sight, it happens. Okay. Yeah, you know how it is. People investigate a family's adult man-baby and then mysteriously go missing without a trace. I mean, it's not like there's anything weird going on here. Despite this, Anne continues to spend time with Baby. First she's gonna teach him his ABCs, then how to sign a lease on an apartment so he can finally move out. What's going on? Oh, I've just been playing with your brother, you know. Some of his responses are really surprising. Everything about this situation is surprising. How is no one realizing that? Hopefully baby sisters don't need to take him for walks with a baby Bjorn. That has got to be murder on their backs. Anne also mentions having once had a husband. Maybe he left after he found these pictures in her underwear drawer. I love to go hiking up in the mountains. Do you ever do anything like that? Unfortunately, I don't have much free time. Later, I gotta go see the baby from It's Alive. I have a really weird job. I'm starting to think something strange might be going on here. Oh, uh, when was the last time baby was examined by a psychologist to uh, determine his mental range and physical reactions? 
He had all those tests when he was a baby. I mean, I don't see why we'd have to do them again. What could have possibly changed since then? In addition to the weirdness with Baby, apparently Anne's husband was Jim Jones? You know, maybe it's a good thing he's not around anymore. And even though he's technically an adult, Baby still needs a sitter when his family goes out for the night. Alright, the deal is you get eight bucks an hour, you can have two sodas from the fridge, and you can fuck him without breaking the law. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have said that, since do you know what happens when Baby gets hungry? Corey, are you hungry? Let me get you a bottle. Yeah, I don't think he wants a bottle. Oh boy, the family is not gonna like this. Or maybe they'll actually be into it. I don't fucking know. We were just rolling around. Nothing really happened, honest. Nothing happened. With your damn titness, nothing. You call that nothing. How could you? You're practically old enough to be his younger sister. And as long as we've got all these other fetishes going on here, fuck it. Might as well add some S&M into the mix. If you tell anybody about this, we'll press charges. You are abusing a mental case and it's a criminal offense. So is assault. Don't worry, baby. Mommy will make everything better right after she pours herself a drink at 20. Despite her best intentions, I don't know if Anne's the best social worker for this particular case. Look what I got. See? Tiger. That's clearly a lion plushie, but whatever. I'm also starting to question the Wadsworth's parenting skills. How do you punish him? He's bad, he gets a spanking. Yeah, and for 20 bucks you can watch if you like. Well, at least Anne seems to be interested in speeding along baby's development. Just what do you think you're doing? I didn't mean any harm, Mrs. Wadsworth. I just want to help baby reach his full potential. Why, with my help, I think he could start behaving like a five-year-old. I'm beginning to think Baby might need some extra help. Well then, I think you should consider putting Baby into a special clinic for the retarded. Whoa! You can't say that. You have to say... You know what? I don't know what you'd call Baby, but the point is you can't say that. Despite Anne's concern, Mrs. Wadsworth doesn't seem interested in her idea. No, nobody takes my baby anywhere without me. I carried him for nine months, during which time I got myself down to two packs of cigarettes and one bottle of J&B scotch a day. It was the hardest thing I've ever done, but I did it because I love him. Sorry, Anne. I don't think you're going to convince Mrs. Wadsworth of baby's potential. Even a dog can do a trick like that. And I should know. I have another son that acts like a dog. And in case you're wondering just why baby is the way he is... That's right, the family's purposefully stunting his mental growth and keeping him that way. I knew there was something strange going on here. I'm starting to think this movie's responsible for the creation of the internet, since they had to find some place to put all the fetishes they're showing here. Ah! Oh, you think I'm kidding about that? Just look at the very next scene. That's right, this movie implies that Jermaine fucks her own infantilized brother. Anne also checks out potential schools for Baby. No, Baby's not gonna fit in here. All these kids are actual kids. Just put them on Jerry Springer and see if you can make some money. Anne eventually guesses that Baby has a normal mental capacity and the family is purposefully keeping him in an infantile state. Great, you figured out what's going on. Now get him the hell out of there. However, the Wadsworths are not very cooperative. Now you... Get away from here, or I'll call the cops and have them take you away. Nobody takes my baby away from me. Now get out of here, you're interrupting my 12 o'clock smoke break, and I need that to make it to my 12.15 smoke break. You know, for a movie usually marketed as an exploitation horror movie, so far this has come off more like a really weird melodrama. I'm starting to think Baby's not gonna go on a killing spree with an axe in this movie. Even though Anne threatened to take Baby away from the water, Worse, they try to make amends by inviting Anne to Baby's birthday party. I'm sure this won't get awkward. One, two, three, blow! Happy birthday, Baby. He's turning one for the 30th time today. I gotta say, this party's a lot more happening than I thought it would be. Nice to know the Wadsworths know so many people who don't think anything about this is weird. Also, even though this is supposedly a kid's birthday party, it looks like it's about to turn into a swingers party at any moment. You've got beautiful skin. Don't tell me you're a dermatologist. No, 
Just a skin freak. That means he wants to wear your skin as a dress, lady. Well, at least they made sure this party's packed full of drugs and booze. That ought to make this situation seem a little more normal. You know, you need something to get you in a party room. No thanks, I'm not drinking tonight. Well, suit yourself, but I'm gonna start drinking. Meanwhile, Mrs. Wadsworth's fixing herself a drink called a Ruth Roman. That's where you put a bottle of Jack Daniels and a case of Virginia Slims into a blender. Hey, dollface, I may be getting a bit older, but for the right price, I'll send you to the moon. If you want me to play with your balls, though, it's gonna run you an extra hundo, sweetie. And despite Anne's commitment to staying sober, the Wadsworths are gonna make sure she has a good time at this party whether she likes it or not. <laughs> I would say this is illegal, but I think drugging women was standard practice at parties in the 70s. Also, are you tying her up and gagging her to try and keep her quiet, or are you trying to invent yet another fetish in this movie? Baby seems a little confused. Usually when someone gets tied up in this house, it's right before his sister fucks him in his crib. Looks like it's baby to the rescue. <laughs> Okay, now that we're an hour in, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. The guy playing Baby is actually pretty good here. Baby is played by actor David Manzi, or David Mooney, depending on how he's credited. And while the sheer strangeness of playing an adult baby man could have caused a lot of actors to either half-ass things or not take it seriously, to his credit, he really goes for it. Still, that does kind of make me question just how much of a method actor he was. Just imagine being some poor production assistant that had to change his diaper every time he got into character. While Baby tries to rescue Anne, how's the rest of the party going? Will you do it the way I like it? Oh, does a cannibal eat raw meat? That's a sign he's a cannibal. When he said he was a skin freak earlier, he fucking meant it. And try all you want, pal. There's not gonna be any nudity. This movie's PG. No, seriously. This movie really is rated PG. Oh, 70s, you so crazy. Anne manages to free herself and takes Baby with her before the end of the party. Ah, uh, damn it, now what are the Wadsworths gonna do for their Friday night cam show? Well, that does it. Nobody takes my baby. Come on, girls, let's go get him. Actually, hang on a second, I forgot my smokes. I'll be right back. Rather than going to the police, Anne decides to try and make Baby more like an adult, mainly by continuing to treat him like a baby. Here you go, baby, I got you a suit. Next we're gonna have you apply for a job. I think you'd make a great investment banker. Damn, Mrs. Wadsworth's so upset Baby's gone, she's put on her drinking kimono. We should have let them take him. Oh, but well, you're not talking about that circus. Mm-hmm. They wanted to put him in a sideshow. We should have said yes. Are you calling your brother a freak? Well, I don't know if he's a freak, but you're definitely fucked up. And I wasn't joking earlier, Anne does seem to be trying to make Baby act more like an adult. Or maybe she's just taking more fetish pics, I don't know. What's with family? I am in the process of making Baby... into a grown man. I think time already did that. Well, that does it. No more Mr. Nice Mommy. The Wadsworths decide to get Baby back and take revenge on Anne, and they can rest easy knowing that even if they kill her, the cops probably won't get involved since nobody seems to think there's anything weird about this situation. Man, the original pilot to Charlie's Angels was a lot more fucked up than the rest of the show. At this point, the movie kinda starts to resemble a horror movie with the girls snooping around the house in the dark, and it even leads to some good old 70s PG murder scenes. Yeah, even if Baby's not the one doing it, at least somebody eventually went on a murder spree with an axe in this movie. Oh, that does it, Anne. Her last name may be Roman, but she's about to go medieval on your ass. Or maybe not. I guess you win. No, please don't kill me. You wouldn't hurt a lady, would you? Now at this point you may be wondering just why Anne decided to brutally murder the entire Wadsworth family after she took Baby. Well, this is where the movie really earns its exploitation movie street cred, since do you want to know how it ends? Where's my best worker? There he is! That's right, Anne's husband didn't die, he just got mentally crippled in an accident and she kidnapped Baby to be a playmate for him. 
Seriously. And they all lived happily ever after. That is until the neighbors got suspicious of Anne buying massive amounts of adult diapers each month and decided to call the cops. So that's The Baby, a movie that accomplishes the feat of being both really fucked up and somehow not as weird as you'd think it would be. The Baby was directed by Ted Post, and while he does have some big screen credits like Beneath the Planet of the Apes and Magnum Force, most of his work was in television, and that's kind of how this movie feels, like a TV movie. Albeit one with a really weird plotline. Rather than emphasizing the sleaze possibilities of such a weird story, the material's treated in a very straight-laced manner, which ironically has the effect of just making the movie seem even more bizarre. Other than Anne, nobody seems to think anything out of the ordinary is going on, and even she ends up being kind of a weirdo in the end. In recent years, a lot of people have made what are essentially slick mainstream films trying to emulate the sleazy exploitation flicks of the past. The Baby, on the other hand, is the exact opposite, namely a weird-as-hell 70s cult film that seems to be trying to convince people it's normal. While horror movie fans may be disappointed with the movie's relative tameness in the sex and gore department, make no mistake, in its own way, The Baby is still one fucked-up little movie. So now that that's over with, I can get back to the kind of stuff I'm used to on this show, like Japanese tentacle porn. Well, that's all for now. Until next time. Of course I'm wearing panties, don't I always? <laughs>